Hello, and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Horizons Gate. Key provided by Dev. Thank you very much, Dev. I really appreciate you. Um, I, I've had my eyes on this for a while. It's, uh, it's as I understand it, not a roguelike. But I, I understand uh, people are going to look at it and say, oh, this seems familiar. I, I don't think so. Uh, and that's actually what really um, attracted me to it. We have different races. Scurio, different races with different effects. Farim. Plus one move, plus one time to act. Falpa, we got a lot of races, a lot of world building already. I haven't even gotten into the game yet. Will de Ree? Sure, let's make a Will de Ree. The storm is really picking up, Commodore. This is looking bad. All hands on deck. Reeve, take command for me. Oh, I see. These are options. Commodore, look, is that... Oh, an enemy vessel, perhaps? Pirates at a time like this. Ahaha, enjoying the storm? Dominio dogs? Combat. So, um, we have environmental effects right away. Very little tutorialism so far, which I kind of appreciate. We've got a turn order going on. Right click the ground to move. Left click the tile, okay. Press Z or X, then select a tile to attack. Choose a direction to end your turn. Oh, I see. So that's gonna matter, uh, your, your your direction is gonna matter maybe for taking damage. Or maybe you have a guard. Oh, some one of our dudes is getting flanked pretty badly. So we so far we only control our main character. I thought maybe we would be controlling our whole crew, but no. Yo, it's Shanks! Um alright. Well maybe we can kill this guy. Yes. Ah Ugh. this is taking far too long. Once the captain goes down, the rest will follow. Nope, too slow, buddy. Oh, they're they're having a, a good old swashbuckle. They do be swashbuckling. Oh, uh, here ya. Let's not do anything rash now. All right, let's let's focus on the task at hand. Oh no, the storm! Oh my God, our ship! Good God! I was not expecting that. I was kind of expecting tile-based movement, but what is this? What is that? Wooden plank, usable for almost any purpose. Eggs, more sandbags. Left click to pick item up. Wooden shiv, an improvised dagger, okay. Oh, is that a crewmate? Double click to interact. Ugh, my head. Oh, it's you. So, there were other survivors? Have you seen anyone else? I haven't seen anyone besides you. Although I did just wake up a, mi a bit ago. I'm gonna go look for survivors. You stay put here. I mean, no. We're, we're attacking the bush. I'll grab a leaf. How does one push it? Oh, we, we double click it, okay. Is this the rest of our crew? Big simple, you're alive. Give me a hand here. Don't let either of them get away. Oh, combat. Okay, um, all right, the enemy's attacking first. Get him, get him. Unless that's our friend. Oh no, our friend is actually being attacked. Brutal. So that's Dawn and Klaus. I don't think I'm gonna make it before our, our, our crewmate dies. Oh, they, they healed, good. Yeah, back up, back up, and I can come help you. They're still getting beat up, oh my god. Can I maybe attack them from here? No, I can't. All right, there we go. Now, now we can do something. I wonder if uh, I could have attacked them from behind. That would have been good. It's kind of rare to see not just positional tactics, but also directional tactics. I have to assume we take less damage if we're getting attacked from the front. Plus 50 XP and something else. Thank you, Big Simple, and thank goodness you survived the shipwreck. Those slugs jumped me while I was checking out this trail. I think they're with the pirates who attacked us. Go ahead and grab their equipment. I'm sure we'll need it. So we have a, we have a choice between an iron axe or a flail. The iron axe is actually better. Burn some XP from the fight. You should learn some new abilities with it. Double click yourself to take a look. Toss a rope to grab and pull someone three tiles. Swag. Move two tiles and boost your morale for 62. Good morale increases stuff. Grant an ally guard for 66 time, having incoming physical damage. These are abilities. Then we have passives. Uh, push anyone who hits you with a melee weapon. Pushes three tiles, can't use with other melee counters. Let's um, let's take rope for now. Learn rope for 75 XP. Oh, I see we have, we have a bunch of XP maybe that we can use. We could learn uh, steady as well. And our companion is following us now. So we've got good old classic uh, RPG. 
I, I do believe this game's got a little bit of sandbox in it as well, which uh, really appealed to me, but um, that's that, that's remains to be seen. When we get our ship back, maybe, uh, we'll, we'll see what that looks like. The rest of the drowned rats showed up. That should make cleanup easy. Don't get distracted, villain. Will you surrender and face judgment in the courts of Dominio? Combat. Oh, he had a he had a ranged shot. They both do. Okay. Okay, so I'm finally starting to piece together what this turn order means. The one that is closest to the right is uh, the next turn, and yes, we do actually have control over multiple characters and not just our main character. We'll end our turn there. I can move here and then use our special ability, grant an ally guard, having incoming physical damage. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know if we can also use guard on ourselves, but I'm glad I'd use it on our ally because they took some physical damage. All right, let's do some damage. What, is, what, do, what do we have here? First aid, perform basic healing on someone adjacent. Or heave, step forward and push someone one tile. Pushing it into an obstacle hurts your target and the obstacle. All right, well, we're just gonna do, I uh, wanna do a basic attack. That's gonna do it. Let's take this moment, momentum and fight our way straight to that scoundrel Lagan. I'm with you. Oh, but we can't, uh, we can't do anything with this. It's makeshift bridge. Can we, like, take these boards and use them? <gasps> Yo, that's a nice little uh, secret there. I honestly did not expect that. So we have bandages useful in a pinch. Essence stone, a small brittle crystal. It can improve the skills of a user. Oh, that, that sounds nice. Repair tools, kit for fixing broken equipment. Drag it onto an item to repair it. I assume your operation went smoothly. Ah, certainly. I got a few bruises, but in the end they were blown, blown completely to smithereens. Bruises? They should not have been seen, even seen you, let alone bruised you. Don't tell me you tried to board. My men know how to deal with any survivors. Look on, I expect you to follow the rest of your orders to the letter. Of course, not a soul will lay eyes on that door. Don't you worry see to it we got like a, a real real mess hall here if you know what i mean i mean this place is a mess talking about oh we got the door the door we're not supposed to see is that the door that lagan mentioned he's not doing a great job guarding it yeah that reminds me commodore you can look at objects with l to get more information oh i know all about looking at things with l you can sell that info to researchers later you should look at this door just in case Goals, look at the door. <laughs> sealed door, this large stone gate is sealed tight and has no visible handle or other opening mechanism. It looks ancient and is adorned with small grooves, in indents, and gems. The markings are relatively simplistic, making it difficult to discern who or what created it. It would take high explosives to breach this door. Okay, so we looked at the door. I like this little uh, tactile look at stuff. Mounted lantern. Sometimes a ship just needs to be sunk is all. What do you mean? If you know what this is about, spill it. Think about it. A ship manned by a promising young commodore and an old war hero. Ambushed and sunk by a greedy merchant house. Rather treasonous of them, isn't it? Sounds like quite a scandal. You pirate scum. Uh oh. Oh my god. Just stay right there. Don't listen. Uh... Don't, don't listen to him. He's, he's about to die. Oh. Vang's here and... No! Oh my gosh. Did I mess everything up again? Vang, perfect timing. I just remembered. On my way back here, I saw a bunch of empty ships docked. We should definitely steal them. Right, let's go, go then. All right. Dead. Let me know when you're ready to set sail. I'm ready. So this is um, kind of what I saw in the trailer, and it was like really exciting to see something like this. I, I love the idea of like having this big world to explore. I feel like I've been in that pirate cove for years. We should head to a safe sp safe port. Agreed. The ship is a bit of a clunker. Let's hit port and get a better one. If we follow the coast to the northwest. We should find a friendly port, but watch out for deep water. Sea monsters hide there. Return to steam a storm cove and defeat the pirates. Open the strange sealed door. Buy a new ship. 
Can we, can we look at stuff here? Yeah, we totally can. Ah, we learned of the location. First of all, I really like the look of this. It's got kind of that Animal Crossing Wild Worlds effect going on, which is a really neat way of doing an overworld map. You don't quite get like the entire picture just yet. You It takes a little bit of um, exploration to actually see everything. We also have, I guess, travel uh, resources that we have to we have to spend. Can we can we look at some stuff? Like what's this? Gus, the winds here are strong and in your favor. Sail through it to get a big speed boost. I actually avoided it, so that's unfortunate. Reef Commodore, let's not go this way yet. We'll run out of food if we do. Take a look at your map. Let's head in the general direction of Surf, okay? All right, where's Surf? Um, oh, I see. Oh, I love this. This, uh, this way of doing a map is really cool. One of the reasons I got into Guild Wars was honestly because of the uh, kind of map exploration. Something I really enjoyed. Revealing a map bit by bit was uh, a lot of fun to me. We discovered Port Midos. Can we, uh, we can check out that port then. Port Midos. What a relief to make port. Let's visit the shipwright and get a proper ship. I'd recommend a caravel or a cog person. Market sells food, trade goods, and all ship related equipment, such as cannons, boarding gear, and other upgrades. But no ships. Every port has a shipwright that can provide repairs to your fleet. Each port has different ships available to buy, however, and may unlock more new ships based on the port's wealth level. Honestly, like, the best I was hoping for for something like this was almost like an RPG version of Sid Meier's Pirates, which was a really fantastic little sandbox adventure game. New ship. Can we sh sell our current ship? To sell a ship, transfer all of your crew off of it, then the sell button will appear on the right. Remember, you can only sell while you're in port. Right, so the caravel, click for more details. Smallest ship, fast, well-suited to a small crew. Probably the one we want. Yeah, I think we'll go with the caravel. Sure you wanna buy a caravel for 600? Yes. Great, well, what will you name it? Um, I'm gonna call it the Going Simple. There you go. Hire a party of five crew. Now we should be able to sell our old ship. For 60, wow, it's really not worth much, is it? Looking for work. I see you just find, uh, fit yourself with a nice new ship. Wager you'll need new blood to handle that. And I am just the thing for it. Uh, easy $10 and with $1 a day after, what do you say? Yeah, sounds good. Buy, we can buy some food. Fill your cargo with 19 food. Probably we should do that, yeah. I always appreciate trading as a mechanic. You know, it really adds a lot to, uh, you know, a sandbox world. Makes it feel like a world, you know? Small portable cannon, so we can buy, we can we can buy not just like trade goods here, but also um, stuff allows you to board an adjacent boat for 80 time. Port status. Port Midos wealth level is 38%. We restock about one carapace per day. Port is currently, currently favors Jask. About investing, what do you want to know? What does investing do exactly? It does a number of things. First, it increases the port's wealth level. Second, if you're affiliated with a nation, it makes the port more favorable towards that nation and less favorable towards others. Third, it increases your trade fame. Everyone loves a generous trader. Lastly, when you invest on behalf of your nation, your nation likes you more. The nation you're taking the port from likes you less. You know what, yeah, let's, why don't we go ahead and buy that uh, carapace? I guess uh, filling up our cargo with food was maybe not a good decision. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll sell a very small portion of our food. And I, I appreciate how easy it was to split that all up. We have another dude over here looking for the Great Sea. Just keep heading west till you can go north. Okay. This is our personal inventory. Here's our cargo. Um, so we'll take our Falcon. Can we put it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. It, it's pretty much exactly what you'd expect. Some of the interface is a bit smaller than uh, than you'd like to see. I wonder if there's a way to increase that a bit. Doesn't look like there is. But either way, we, we did equip the cannon. There's a gale right in front of it. So we could check out the marketplace, see how much uh, carapaces sell for. I think they do sell for more than I bought them for. I bought them for 33 each, right? This place also has a way more wealth, so you can buy better guns here. This here is a mining town, but don't let that scare you. Food's still good and guild work pays just the same. Excuse me, built guild work? So Saul just sends the drink drinks out here. All right, let's get down to brass tacks. Want something to eat or drink? Uh, local, local specialty. How about pepper blossom for your crew? Only nine 
$5 per crew member. Sure. Any business with a guild? Jobs. Uh, oh, okay. So we can take quests here. Here's what we have available. Litter to Jaskus. We need a litter delivered to the guild at Jaskus. The pay is 207. Interested? Yes. We'll receive payment from the guild master there. So we eat four food per day. So we have five, five days left of food. I'm not sure how fast we travel. So this is something we're going to have to actually consider. Something I'm not seeing is like our the quests or mission that we just got. I have no way of seemingly to, to find out what quest we just got, which is kind of a problem. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go back and, and uh, find out again. That's a, I would say that's a little bit of an issue. I, I At least I don't see any um, obvious way of finding out what quest we just took. I guess I could just like make a note or to Jaskus. I don't, listen, I don't know how to spell it, but I, at least I have a note now. If, if there is a nothing in the journal that keeps track of your quests, I think that is an interesting choice. I don't know if I necessarily agree. A little bit of Wind Waker in this game, obviously. I gotta, oh, there's a, there's a other pirate. I wonder if we can do something with him. Going, th this is a cog. Av Marlow commands a Jaskian merchant fleet. Corvair, oh, I see, th it's, this is a fleet made up of multiple ships, not just one. Jaskus, eh? I haven't been here often. I wonder if we'll get to meet Jask himself. We have a mission to complete first, though. 207, I see. Well done. Here's your pay. Any other jobs? A letter to Ravitus. Acquire perfume. So we could definitely try a harder quest later, but I think for the first little while, we're going to want to take some of the, like, small grind quests. Oh, what, where is that letter going? I take it, I take it totally for granted that we're going to have it written down somewhere where it is. Just in case I forget. Ah, uh, Big Simple, what brings you before Jask? Pledge service. Another of the faithful. So you wish to serve Jask? You may become an honorary citizen. And if you serve well, gain rewards both material and sp spiritual. Only a donation of 100 stands between you and serving the true god. Sure. Nice. So you can uh, pledge to one of these three factions. Maybe that adds a little bit of replayability. So we just need to hire one more crew and then we've completed a goal. This is a language I don't speak. Need a crew member? Only 10 up front and one a day after. Sure. Done. You won't regret it. We got a bunch of XP. Brawler unlocked. We'll, we'll go and complete another quest and then maybe um, I'll have to leave the... Uh, I'll have to leave this. Let's try here. This is a, a, a yet another candidate for an awesome series I'd love to do. Um, so I have to go to Redita. What is it? I'm glad I made a note of it. Ravitus. And there might be there might be a port over here that I don't know about. Ah, sunken Balkaloth. Interesting, bleak sort of place. This was an old elementalist tower, if I recall. There's a boulder. I like that boulder. Hefty chunk of rock that can't be moved by any method. The only way to get past it is with high explosives. Okay, so this is the location we would we would want to come back to. Definitely, I think it would be worth uh, like exploring as much as possible, just to find you know the other ports. What is this place? Can we come here? We are running dangerously low on money. We have got to complete this quest. Chrysol Farms. We could check that place out. Maybe they'll give us some food. Interesting. I'll buy one food. And uh, we are really in dire straits. We're gonna have to sell some cannons at some point pretty soon. This It sucks to do this, but I, I don't think I really have much choice. I know we probably have enough food for now, like we're okay, but um, we're, we're gonna be not okay soon enough. Well, you know what? We do have, we have done a, a lot of um, exploration. We could go to the cartographer maybe and get some money that way. Ah, so there's a boulder here. We could probably later create a shortcut there, but for now we're we're kind of stuck. Ooh, all right, we're down to nothing. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to buy some more food. Not enough money. We are out of money. Is it, have we have I like completely blocked myself? I, I might see a game over soon enough. Wretch rend, wretch wind. Maybe we can get some food there. Nice lush grove. Groves usually have something valuable to discover, so let's take a look around. Often home to dangerous animals, though, so stay on your toes. And look at that, we do have some nasties. 
combat. Well, it's it's you know, it's a good way to maybe end things is uh with a little bit of combat before I starve to death. And this guy applies poison. Let's do some throwing axes on the the raw snag. Nice. That's a nice chunk of damage. We'll we'll flank this spider. Nice. That's a nice chunk of damage as well. Can we crossbow this the uh, spider? We should be able to kill them on the next turn. Oh, poison's doing some nasty work. So we cannot attack something that is right in front of us. All right, that's, a, that's the spider dead. Just do some cleanup on these little spiders and we should be good. We can rope this guy. I don't know if that was a good idea, to be honest. Oh, that, that counted as our move. Oh, we don't have a weapon for this guy, so I, I can only reload. Move two tiles and boost your morale for 62. Good morale, okay. So we could do that, we could move over here and then All right, that, that's all right. Poison is really doing some nasty work there. We'll move back and use our throwing axes. Oh, he's he's not looking so good. He might actually die. Okay, that's actually good for us in a way. He is too close to attack, so he's gonna have to move away. Kill, kill, yes. We should be able to kill this other one, too. There we go. Victory! Gladiator unlock. So I'm assuming... I haven't really looked at it yet, but... Um, we've got a ton of classes that we can probably make use of. Tactician requirements training. I haven't really even looked at these. Requirements training. Scout. Agile explorer with a basic but versatile skill set. Scholar, apprentice to all forms of magic. Oh, wow. Okay, so each of these have their own set of skills. So we can, like, dabble in different skills for uh, for a character. So, oh, and they all have different XP. So as a scout, uh, Big Simple only has 80 XP. As a sailor, they have 250. So I could do something, I could like, I could take another skill then we could like swap to a different class, get some new skills. So I could, like, I could teach Big Simple Prayer, for example. So the only thing I'm not clear on is like how, oh, I see, we have to like, ah, uh, oh, okay. So you can have two classes at once and train those two classes for each character. This game has a ridiculous amount of depth. That's actually fantastic. So like we can we could train someone to be like a sailor and a warrior and now they're going to get XP under both of those different classes and be able to take different abilities and different passives under each of those. That is wild. We could be a gladiator though, right? Like I could go ahead and throw a gladiator on there. Tingle could be a scout. You definitely going to want to apply that uh, second class as quickly as you can, right? Hagger, well, we'll make Hagger a, a sage. I see they have a certain number of stars. You earn a star every 250 XP. So that's that's something you are gonna wanna throw down uh, specifically on like increasing your skills. Rock Yam. Hardy fruit with a tough exterior and a juicy citrus interior. Unopened, it can stay ripe for months, making it good food for travelers. Oh, well, thank goodness. Well, that was cool. Uh, we're probably still going to die of starvation, but I had fun. See, how close are we? Not very. I don't know, maybe we can, well, we have the, the yam. Can we not eat the yam? We can sell the yam for 50. Okay, that might actually save us. Yes, that's exactly enough to buy a full of, uh, cargo of food. Watch I find Rivalti or whatever it's called. Discovered quite a lot of the map and we did actually make it. Okay, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to give me some money for sure. Eleven percent of the world. Once you explore more than thirty percent of the world, I'll pay you more per XP. Ah, oh, eleven hundred. Oh my God, that saved us. We are saved. That's a lot of money. All right. Um. Yeah. There's there's a lot of game here. Way more than I've had a chance to show off. To be honest. 
And but you know, it's it's gotta it's gotta stop somewhere, right? I gotta I gotta cut the video somewhere. I could very easily do more of this. And I think I honestly might. At a certain point, I'm gonna have to like stop doing snapshot videos of games and just settle on doing a series. This is a very strong contender. I really like this game and it has such an amount of depth to it. It's got a great sense of exploration. It's got great world building and a story I would actually like to know more about. And yeah, there's, there's just a lot here. This is amazing. Um, this is Horizons Gate and I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.